the bulkhead AD, the bulkhead AD is subjected to both water and soil backfill pressures. Assuming AD is pinned, bulkhead AD is pinned to the ground at, at A here, at A here, so we have AD, bulkhead AD. Determine the horizontal and vert vertical reactions there at point A, and also the required tension in the ground anchor BC, ground anchor BC, for necessary, necessary for equilibrium. The bulkhead has a mass of 800 kilograms. Okay, so uh, we have here bulkhead, bulkhead AD, and so this here we have um, the bulkhead is, uh, so to speak, sitting on uh, the ground at point A, and it's simply supported, so we can assume that it's simply supported, it's pinned, so this is assumed to be pinned assumed to be end okay uh, so we have a ground anchor here ground anchor and we have this water four meter uh, uh, with a four meter height and the soil with a six and a half meter height okay so uh, what is a bulkhead Bulkhead is kind of uh, a retaining wall, we call it a retaining wall in soil mechanics application. Uh, it's, it's kind of a separation wall and that separates two medium. In this case, on the left hand side, we have water here and we have uh, soil here. So basically, practically, we don't want water leaking into the soil. Okay, so we uh, install um, a bulkhead here or like a kind of uh, like a retaining wall or separation wall here and for safety reasons obviously because there will be like a bending action here so this pressure especially and uh, this cantilevering length here uh, will cause the bulkhead to kind of bend like bend here so we don't want this bending occurring because it may lead to collapse of the bulkhead so we install anchor 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 uh, elements into the soil to hold and to prevent this bending happening. Okay, that's why we have it, have the anchor here, right? But uh, the question here is asking, um, uh, okay, the required tension. Uh, first of all, horizontal and vertical reactions at point A, and also this force F. Uh, developed uh, required tension F in the anchor ground, uh, ground anchor BC so BC ground anchor okay so first of all as uh, we uh, always do for such questions we draw our free body diagram okay so we have here our bulkhead uh, it's kind of like a simple column element okay so here it's it's assumed that it's pinned so if you like we we kind of have uh, such a support here okay so support reactions in red so for okay we have a x here and we have a y here okay so these are support reactions uh, the ground anchor bolt it can also be regarded as a support reaction here, so that's F. So these are our support reactions. For the actions, external actions, first of all we have acting right in the middle. Here we have weight, and weight of the bulkhead, and we have here Okay, this triangular so the soil pressure in soil mechanics is modeled as like a triangular um, the distributed load okay so it's triangular so it's somehow it is calculated by using uh, soil mechanics formulas it's based on the properties of the soil the height of the soil okay such things so that's 310 kilonewton per meter and with a 
with a height of six and a half. So that's 6.5 meters. Um, here and 310 uh, kilometer per meter there. On the other hand, on the left hand side, we have this triangular load model that is representing the uh, pressure of the water on the bulkhead. And uh, this here, let me just go ahead and delete this AX. Okay. Okay, so we have for our AX, so that's our AX. And for our distributed load here, we have this magnitude 118, 118 kilonewton per meter. Right. So what we do is to reduce these triangular distributed loads into equivalent single uh, forces. So on the right hand side, we, we're going to we're going to sorry, we're going to be having this equivalent single load here, and on the left hand side, we're going to have equivalent single load somewhere here. And uh, that that will be like. If this is six and a half meters, so that will be like uh, six and a half. This is equal to six point five over three, the center of uh, centroid of the triangle. Okay, so the magnitude, let's call this uh, uh, R soil single. So that let's call this R water. Okay. So we can calculate our soil to be the equivalent single force. Our soil would be equal to a one over two. Times, so that's the area of this triangle. Yes. Okay. So one over two times three hundred and ten times six and a half. Okay. And that's acting at a height of six and a half meters over three. And on the other hand, we have our water. Uh, will be equal to 1 over 2 times 118 times this length is 4 meters here okay so this is calculated as uh, 236 236 kilonewton equal in force and our soil will be equal to 1007.5 kilonewton okay so and now we're going to write uh, equilibrium equations uh, to find the unknown for uh, support reactions AX, AY, and F. Okay, so let's start with uh, so equilibrium equations. Right. So Let's start with writing moment around uh, point A equals zero. Okay, so this equation will uh, include 1007.5, so that's our soil, times 6.5 over 3, so that's equal to 2.167, 2 2.167 meters. And on the other hand, this 4 over 3, that height will be 1.33, 1.33 meters, okay, meters. So we're going to be using these distances times 2.167 meters, okay, that's plus. Because it's I am rotating uh, around point A in the anticlockwise direction. Okay, so minus... Um, 236, that's the R water, kilonewton times 1.333 meters, and we have F times 6 meters, F times 6 meters, okay, and that is equal to zero. So using this equation, we find F to be equal to uh, 311 Point thirty-seven um, kilonewton. 
Okay, so that's the force required tension in the calculation uh, that, that will be used for the calculation of the for the design of the anchor anchor bolt anchor member okay okay for the um, a x and a y now it's a uh, really straightforward so some of the force in the y in the x direction will be put to zero and we will, we're going to be having a x plus 300 so that's f 37 so that's f and plus 236 that's our water and minus 1007.5 that's our soil that is equal to zero so our ax will be equal to 460 kilonewtons and some of the force in the y direction y direction is equal to zero and uh, we'll be having a y oh by the way we, we need to calculate also the weight of the bulkhead so let's say weight of bulkhead it will be equal to 800 kilogram that's given mass times 9.81 okay gravitational acceleration value so that's in 7,848 kilonewtons, so that's the weight of the bulkhead. Okay, so using that AY minus the for forces acting uh, along the y axis is only the weight of the bulkhead, and that is reacted by the support reaction at point A. Okay, so 780. Okay, 7,848 kilonewton is equal to zero, and we're going to be having Ay to be equal to 7,000. Um, okay, um, 848 kilonewton. Okay, so there I made a mistake, I guess. Uh, because uh, this is not kilonewton, 7,848, that's newton. Okay, so that's newton, that's newton, and it's equal to 7.85 kilonewton, okay? So, so that would be kilonewton, so that would be kilonewton, 7 point, and it, it is equal to 7.85 uh, kilonewton for the AY. Okay, and that concludes the solution of this uh, problem. Thank you for listening.